What's up, everyone? I'm back. It's a cool day. I probably might not do anything, but got some boxes here, so we'll see what's up. Stay tuned. Yeah, you know, sometimes you, when you got a lot of stuff on your mind, man, it's just always good to try to work on your project and try to, like, you know, use it as a mental escape. And I said this before, but um, then it's something you don't feel like doing anything. And that's where I'm at right now today. Um, just don't feel like doing anything at the moment. Nothing crazy, but, you know, a lot of stuff on my mind at the moment. And, it's just tough, um, but yeah. So I'm gonna go through these boxes, and I mean, y'all already know what's in the boxes. But I got her with me, and I'm just gonna do that. If I do feel a little bit motivated, I might try to see if I can do the other spring. But I don't know if I feel like going to the hassle of bringing out all the equipment, all the tools out. So it is what it is. Sorry for the gloominess, but. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that. Anyway, so I'll tell it. Like I said earlier, I'm just probably, I'm well, not probably not doing anything. I'll just talk to my mom. Um, so yeah, these are the rear rotors. I'm assuming. So there they are, brand new in the box. Okay. The rear rotors. Here are the front ones. I don't like I don't like how they package these, but it is what it is. I want to get the job done. So the metals a little bit like scuffing here, but you know, you know, the wheel goes over that anyway. So yeah, I got that. So hopefully next time I come and I feel a little bit more motivated, I'll get it done. But as of right now. I'm just chilling and talking to my mom and then probably gonna head home soon. And it's gonna probably be a two-parter. What's up guys? It's the following few days actually since the last post because I ain't do nothing that day when I was here talking to my mom's but <sighs> it's gonna be a scorcher today, but I'm ready. So what's on the agenda for today obviously is to Get that upper strut out. Get that set up with the spring and everything like that. Put that back together. That's gonna tie in to button this up right here. And then I'm gonna do the rotors too. So hopefully I'm gonna get the rotors off to clean them up. I don't have the pads yet and I don't have the rebuild kit that I was going to purchase to rebuild them. Um, you know, this and it's not really like a full on rebuild kit. It's just like a reseal kit, like with the seals and stuff like that to seal it back up. Um, hopefully they still work well and I get the new pads and etc and such with new rotors it should be better But I do have the rotors downstairs the full set what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the rear rotors On at another time and I'm going to put the new rotors on for the front when I put everything back together So I can tighten up the suspension. So hopefully that's going to be the plan for today All right, stay tuned Got scared from that. I just see like a little puddle at the bottom. I don't know if that's from the past right down there. It could be something that was leaking. I don't see anything down there. Belt's kind of squeaky. I just had to start it because you know I haven't kept the car sitting for a while and it wasn't running. And it's not good to have it sitting there not running and I don't want to deplete the battery and etc and etc. Plus, you know, I just want to hear it run again. So anyway, I'm gonna let it run for a few minutes, then I'm gonna get ready to start doing what I gotta do. I'm gonna pressure wash the uh, wheel wells because they need to be cleaned out before I do what I gotta do. I might, I'm not gonna paint it like my dad suggested at the time and I don't got the paint and I don't feel like going to get it. I just wanna get started even though I'm kinda like delaying it right now, but yeah, she still runs. You know what I mean? I gotta get an exhaust because it has a leak. <laughs> but we'll talk about it later. All right, so as we left off, I got it. I'm gonna paint these up. Like I said, that's for the passenger side. Um, strut is still stuck in here. I was gonna try what my dad said just to put the spring and the spring top on, and then have it like when I like take the spring out, just let it pull it off. Um, yeah, 
I'm thinking about doing something like that, but then again, I'm not sure how that's gonna work, but we'll try it and see. Um, but I'm gonna try some hammering. I got the paint out again so I can start painting and get that done so I can get that cracking. But I'm happy to, more happy to see my pops is over there starting doing something in the van. He's trying to clean it up, you know, get it the, the dirt off and just get motivated to get it clean. So I'm happy to see that because, you know, you gotta start somewhere and clean it up, get inside, clean out the inside. There's a lot of leaves and like cats and stuff like that was getting in there. You know with vans, they got that little shroud in the middle to cover the engine because the engine like halfway in the cabin so he had it off since when he got it towed so they've been coming in and out so what he's planning on doing right now is just cleaning up the van getting off all that heavy like mill duty stuff off and then getting that machine inside to, to really clean it up and like steam it and shampoo it and disinfect it put that shroud back on so they can't get into the van and keep the van kind of clean like that and then he'll start working so whatever steps you got to do to get it done i'm happy for him so i'm glad to see that so you know sometimes you got to get motivated man I'm here motivating people. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of motivation, I want to give a quick shout out to my boy, Aubrey. Check out his shirt. Aubrey Fitness. Check him out on YouTube, Aubrey Fitness. Or go to his website, aubreyfitness.com. Check him out. Uh, if you want any kind of workouts and, you know, for this quarantine and everything like that, you can check him out. He'll definitely give you some stuff to use. Hey, I got some good news. I'm able to got, I'm able to get Excuse me. Well, wow. The um, shred out. So I did what my dad suggested, which is put the spring compressor on, put it back on there. I didn't put the full assembly on, like all this and stuff like that. I just used this spring perch thing and I tightened it up and loosened it. Now, at first, when I released it, it wasn't coming out. So I was feeling a little discouraged, but I started tapping the perimeter or around the um, this tube of the hammer. And I started to notice it free up and shake out and then boom, it came right out. So I'm happy about that. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint the spring now and just the top of these just to make it look a little bit better. And then I'm gonna put the new strut in with the fluid in it this time and then um, coat it and then we should be good to go. So yes, I'm hype. I'm really hype moving forward. And then once my dad finished pressure washing the van, I'm gonna take it, probably pressure wash underneath the car real quick in that area right over there, clean that up and then put that on there and get the wheels on it and then kind of like start buttoning it up, man. I'm getting excited, man, so. Yeah, well, I have to make a quick part store run. I got this quick steel reinforcement or reinforced epoxy putty because there's a slight hole in this. Yeah, I got it. Something like it. Something like it. I'll show you in a second. So as you can see, there's a hole right here. That led into here, you can see right there. And that's why in here had a lot of grainy bits in there and it seized up. So I'm gonna put that epoxy on there, put it in there, and seal it up. Quick steel. I think it's a little bit crude. They say you can sand it down. It should be a little bit cleaner. I'm just hoping it kind of creates a nice because there's at least paint over it. Um, I put it in the sun, let it cure for a little bit. Um, after it cures to my liking and it seems solid. I'm just gonna hit it with some paint inside. It's kind of, you know, a little jammed up, but it doesn't affect where the spring sits. And this, as long as it keeps the water out from the body of the thing, I'm happy with it. You know, it just needs to do its job for now. <laughs> Air compressor came on, so I'm probably not gonna put that other clip in here. But anyway, it was a fight to get this rotor, not rotor, this caliper off this rotor here. I had to take this off, and that was annoying because I had to kind of spin the the caliper that was stuck to the rotor with it around and around just to get it to thread out. When I got it off, I had to take this long screwdriver to try to pry it off and finally got it off. As you can see, there's an imprint here and then these pads look like they had, they had it. You know what I mean? Like, it looks nasty. This one is all chipped up at the top. You know? But this caliper though, this thing look mad crazy and seized up. I'm hoping that it's just surface rust and there's nothing inside that's keeping it from going back and forth. I really wanted to order a kit, but I can't find a kit anywhere that not only gives you the seals, like this rubber seal here, like, like this rubber seal here and a seal that's inside, but this actual piston that goes in and out of here. Um, I'm debating if I want to kind of like 
remove this piston and then um, like cleaning it up maybe like sanding it down a little bit and putting it back in maybe that might work I'm gonna try to see if I can find one of those C clamps that my father had and see if I can just clamp it back in and if I can get it to free up and move freely maybe that'll be it I don't want to have to get another caliper can't afford it and um, gotta use what I have so I'm gonna try to see if I can take off the other one let's go take a look at uh, the steel putty thing that I did probably over an hour already so here it is this thing is very hard it's hard not the perfect thing but it's good enough like I said I'm gonna paint this black you won't even know the difference and here it's nice and hard as well all the little holes and then in here this is the best part like the little spot in here nice and solid so I'm gonna paint it now the springs are everything already kind of painted already like I said I didn't buy new spring tops and everything like that, but you know, this channel here is about recycling. I sprayed the the spring as you can see. Um, it looks a lot better now than it did before. I know it's gonna get scrape up a little bit once I put the spring compressor on it, but it is what it is. I don't really care too much about that. I sprayed it this. I'm gonna put some more um, grease in here to loop that up, and I sprayed painted this so like I said from far it looks a lot better you know up close you can see the imperfections but like I said they still solid they still gonna get the job done and that's the main important thing you guys up um, I got this side on tight I lost this when I was taking it off I'm pissed I can't find it but I'll get another one of those the bottom is secure I still didn't tighten up everything in a um, suspension yet can they recommend that having a car on its um, pressure or you know under its weight suspension too far tighten it up so I'm gonna do that when it's I get the other side done I couldn't get that caliper off like I said earlier so I'm just gonna leave that alone for now put that back on with the new rotor wheels on get it down and then when I come back do the brakes and address that and I'll, I'll deal with that at that time got the other joint right here chilling it was leaking a little bit because the bottom piece here because like I said this is a bad one not a hundred percent good so it had a little leak when I was leaning it flat like this. But you know, it's not gonna sit like that when I put it in the car, so it doesn't matter. So yeah, I'm just taking a quick break. Hydrate's hot out here. Then I'm gonna go. just finish this side. Got both sides on. My brother is taping that up for me so I can do my test spray. Um, I got the rotors here. I showed you guys that the other day, which is part of this same video. So I'm just gonna hit these with some brake clean. Put them off, put them on, put the wheels back on, and tighten up so, this suspension. Just catching y'all up. Um, so the wheels are on temporarily. Um, I was able to tighten up everything down there. It was an ordeal. So all the suspension components are tightened. I think I kind of tightened this up, the last, this side, a little too much the last time I was here. But um, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna jack this thing back up, take the wheels off. So I didn't do any of that stuff that I was just talking about, like taking the wheels off and tightening up the top um, sway bar links. Um, unfortunately, um, I didn't have enough time. Everything looks good. I did notice that when I had the car jacked up again on the jack stands, like the passenger side seemed to droop down a little bit lower than the driver's side. Like I said earlier, I think I tightened up the driver's side a little too tight the last time. So I'm going to chalk it up to that. Worst case scenario, I just have to loosen it up again, put it back on the, its load, and then do that again. Um, right now, I'm heading over to the van to show my, my father's progress and let you guys see how far he got today cat hair and all this other crap in there but he really cleaned it up and getting it kind of fresh so he can go in there and do what he has to do let's take a look i don't like filming other people but we'll see let's see what's going on see? nice and clean roof done there's a big difference there's a big difference in there yeah, I saw you, I saw you spraying it. I said, shit, let me pour what's that shit. I mean, if it's wet and it's nothing. Yeah. And on right now, so it's gonna dry up. Yeah, and it should be fine afterwards anyway. Yeah, it'll be good. Yeah, that's a good step. Yeah, it's still thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's too bad. A lot of times. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's gonna get there. That's the main thing. Everything you got, 
Yeah. Yeah. So right now, me and my father, uh, we're talking about his plans of what he want to do with the van. Um, he still is trying to resurrect this engine. I think it's kind of far gone. They've been sitting there for almost twelve years, and we don't know what cat or animals in those cylinders or in those heads and anything like that. And plus, there's a lot of components that the dealership did happen to steal from off the vehicle that we don't know is missing so i was telling them it's better off just getting another engine as opposed to you know spending a lot of money just chasing issues but we'll see the good thing is like i said is that he's motivated he's working on it and i'm very happy and proud of him so i wrapped it up for the day i was gonna take the wheels back off and you know paint the caliper but it's getting late i'm about to be out i've been talking to my brothers it's kind of bothering me how this is hanging like this maybe because at the bottom um tie rod is kind of more pulled in and in this side the ground is not that leveled either because it is a, on a slant slope. This side is more, you know, up the, to the side. So it is what it is. Once I get it on the ground, I could probably play with it a little bit more. But I did put it on um, some bricks to tighten up the suspension and do that. But it is what it is, like I said. Anyway, I'm, like I said, I'm happy that my father started doing something with that van. Hopefully, you know, he keeps the momentum going, clean it up some more, and get ready to do the engine, whether he's going to rebuild the one he has, which I don't really recommend, or he's going to get another one, but we'll figure that out. I'll help him out with that. But we're making progress. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a good day, and God bless.